All right, here we are. What's going on? Oh my god, hello. hello. How y'all doing? I don't know why I'm weird again. Would you stay at a space hotel? Oh, I'm 100%. If I ever have the opportunity. This is why I'm so excited about today's spaceship launch. Well, yesterday's, but we're pretending it's happening right now live, okay? Because I'm very upset about missing it. It's so exciting, the spaceship launch. Specifically, because it means that we... I think I, I think that basically means I'm gonna go to space. Commercial flight, but I'm pretty sure that's what that spaceship launch last night meant. Pussy parade to space. Yes, I'm gonna get everyone a goddamn ticket in a chat if y'all coming with me. If I have a podcast one day in winter in astronaut, I'm gonna have to ask about fapping. <laughs> what happens <laughs> when you do it in space? Do people have do? Uh, whoa, they must like what? Ha I got questions. They're tracking their physical and mental health, so they gotta get it out somehow. They got it on their schedules when they're getting it out. They probably have some kind of a device they gotta, you know, or may I don't know what happens. The Mile High Club in space <laughs> maybe don't open with that ah hey you're not gonna tell me how to interview people space blue balls <laughs> you don't want that you don't want that you gotta be in your physical and mental peak there's a sucking machine for pee so they're using the same machine for sucking up cum 100 this is gross i'm sorry what on earth we're talking about a spacex launch we're talking about spaceship very intellectual topics nothing to do with um Whatever you thought you heard, we're talking about nothing like that. Uh, <laughs> nothing. <laughs> this is weird AF. Yeah, get used to it. I hate it here. <laughs> we're gonna watch the launch from two weeks ago first, okay? And I wanna listen to the guy coming. You'll understand when we get there. I'm so excited. It was a fail, but it was very glorious to look at. There's some big ass boys. Yeah, so this is SN9 and again. then on the Ten left, it's SN10. Now. We're gonna watch this one launch. <gasps> There's the There's big ignition. Photo. And lift off. Lift off. <gasps> it lifted off. I told you they come. Ooh. <laughs> wow. <gasps> wow, look at that. <laughs> <laughs> I love how oh, they're coming. The go. So if you don't understand what's happening right now, this is very impressive already. Because this is actually the size of a, f a skyscraper. This thing that's in the air right now, shaking, is the size of a skyscraper. It's a starship. We're gonna use that to travel. <laughs> I'm gonna calm down. So it's 20 stories tall. So what Elon's trying to do is make this rocket not only go up in space, he also wants to be able to land it afterwards perfectly so there's no need to replace any of the bits basically well some of the bits obviously the difference between this and the old spaceships that we used to have is that we would save a lot of money and we could reuse it instead of uh, having the person catapult it and losing the entirety of the rocket so this is the sn9 flight which happened like two weeks ago we're just rewatching it because because, I mean, it, you guys gotta see what it looks like when it doesn't go well. <laughs> and then this next one we're gonna watch is the SN10 that happened last night that I haven't seen yet. How many humans inside? So this doesn't have living humans in it. SN10 could fuck me in the ass. <laughs> oh, the belly flop is crazy. So is it coming up now? I wasn't paying attention. So what I do mid-air is because ideally we would use something like this to colonize Mars. Have a bunch of people on the rocket and then I think that's the idea anyways. So for you to get to Mars, you have, uh, I think every four years, every two years, there's like an ideal time when the planets are aligned in a certain way. So the, the, time, tra the time that it takes to get to Mars is, you know, a lot fucking lower or actually possible. The starship goes up into the air, into the atmosphere, and it needs to flop. I think it needs to flop like that, I think. Or is it just because of the... I think that might be because they're trying to land it. But either way, it needs to go into the orbit first and then use that to propel towards Mars. It can't just like penetrate out of... So it just flopped. This is like free fall. Now it's like just floating. Isn't that crazy? It's very impressive. I remember seeing this first time being like, whoa. And the sad part about this is it kind of cut off the camera so that they're trying to make... They're trying to make the engine and... Wow. Yeah, it didn't land. Um, <laughs> it looks amazing though, doesn't it? It looks amazing. And that's his big brother, SN10. We're gonna watch that now. I like how the big brother is just watching the other rocket die. I thought it was a great idea that the, this other rocket still... And the debris. I love how these, this rocket actually stayed here. 
because I feel like in my head that just made me feel like well they're ready for the next attempt so then we have this one which is the brother we were just watching I haven't seen this yet I think I'm gonna I'm gonna have my I'm gonna have my moment okay okay here we go I'm so nervous I know what happens I think I don't actually know what happens five four three two one holy fuck <laughs> Whoa, I want to paint one of these one day. <gasps> Look how sick that looks. That's real life. Holy fuck. Wow. Is she cute? <laughs> She's sick. She's sick for real. That was a beautiful shot. That was that was a beautiful. Wow. Thank thank you for that angle, Daddy Elon. How is that real? I know. It's a fucking starship, dude. How many people can go on this starship, by the way, when they actually figured? Oh, she's so beautiful. Look at that. Oh, that lighting look good on her, bitch. Golden hour. Yeah, I see how it is. I'm simping for a rocket. <laughs> Oh, that, that's a nice shade on her, you know what I'm saying? Suits your vibe. <laughs> oh yeah, we're in the same color scheme. <laughs> nice. Engine looking good. Nice. Ooh. Bro, can you imagine being on that? First engine turn off. Elon Musk Rocket Rule 34. Shut up, man. Two minutes. We're getting ready to transition from three engines to two engines firing on Starship. Nice. We're setting one engine off. That's intentional. They really nailed the nailed the cameras this time like it looks so much better than last time what the hell where is this being launched i think they used to do it they do it in texas right this is intentional i like how they say this is intentional when things <laughs> happen oh look at those engines oh very nice very nice oh, the flop is coming i think oh okay, now let's switch over to the header tank for the one engine it's cooling down too right so the engine the red is the engine and the the white is the cooling down. Auto aligning. Ooh. <laughs> oh, look at him. Oh, the flop is coming. <gasps> it looks so beautiful. It looks so pretty. It's engineering porn. I'm gonna come back up. I like that they get that engine camera this time, for real. They they did so good coming with up the on T plus four minutes. We're at ten kilometers. Look We've at it floating like a fucking ghost. Sorry. Wow. It's floating like better than the previous one. Oh boy. Oh my god. Bro, this is Star Trek. They have the best visuals on this thing. Are you kidding me? It looks so much. This live stream looks so much better than the last one. You can actually see it. Oh, it's so beautiful. Sorry, I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> Am I just screaming? Seconds, Starship has transitioned. It's flipped to the horizontal mode, beginning, beginning the descent back to the We're descending, y'all. We're descending and we're fucking smashing it. She's doing it. She's out here. It's like movie angles. Oh, the last one. <gasps> so pretty with a white background. I think the turn is very much close to Earth, so. Whoa, it's so pretty. I want that as like, I want that. Yeah, I'm gonna have to make some art of a spaceship at some point. I wanted to make like the explosion and shit, but I kind of wanted to make it like rainbow or something, but I don't know. It's kind of hard to imagine in my head. Coming oh, it's coming. Five minutes, 45 seconds. Oh. We're down below two kilometers. We're preparing to light three Raptor engines to begin the flip sequence. The flip is coming. We'll Combinate with landing on the landing pad. In There's Boca no way. Chica. I know that it's supposed to work, but I can't imagine how they're gonna do it, bro! Fuck! No way! I know that this happened, but I can't believe it happened. Wait, it start. So someone said it starts moving again. They fucking landed it, and it's just smoke, bro. That that was so epic. I need to go back and see the engines, dude. 
Holy fuck. So, oh, this is, no, this is literally happened in real life last night, bro. Sorry. Oh my God. Why is there fire? <laughs> Shit! What's the fire about? Why is there fire? Is that what they were taught? Is that is this the is this the part that they fucked up? Then it's landed, dude. That's good. Are you kidding me? That's such a upgrade from SN9, though. SN9 was just a fucking huge explosion. This was, this was this stand. It was standing. It's standing. Okay. I want to see that angle again. That was so sick. Oh my god. 45 seconds. Whew. We're down below two kilometers. We're preparing to light three reactors. It bounced. So it bounced and landed. It genuinely looks fake. Oh, bro. Oh god. That looks so fake. What the is this is so good. Wow. The, uh, did you see the oh yeah you can see it on fire as it lands i imagine watching porn on 0.2 that's what i feel like i'm doing right now i'm watching porn on 0.25 okay i'm gonna stop juicing over this it's sitting oh Remind me to get off that rocket ASAP if I'm ever on it, okay? No messing around, dude. If we have a similar situation as I experience on a fucking airplane where everybody's putting on their coats for fucking 30 minutes instead of grabbing their shit and getting out. Can you imagine? Oh, Elon was probably already celebrating with a cigar, bro. Oof. Oh, that hurts. You need to apply for Project Dear Moon. Is are you talking about the thing about sending artists to space? Cause uh, <laughs> I don't think I'll get on the list. I'm working on it. I'm working on it. I got some time. When they announced it, my immediate thought was like, how do I do this? In like, how how much time do I have, and how do I do this? The only reason I could have a chance is because I feel like most people are scared to go to space, <laughs> especially watching all those explosions.